What's up guys, it's Eric. And Kevin, it's been a while since I've been on the YouTube channel. So welcome to the Stacking Horizons YouTube channel. I just wanna say I've missed you guys so much. It's not like I haven't been hanging out with my boy. It's just I got a new job, so I've been busy. Open to close, got a management position. Um, new service manager at a tire wholesaler slash repair garage. So it's a big company. They got like 350 stores. I just don't feel like disclosing that name at this time. So yeah, we're gonna be making some big moves for 2017. It's February 6th, it's warmer than it's been. The weather in New York has been uh, rainy, sleety, 0% snow, which is fucked up. I'm on a snowboard, haven't gone once yet. But uh, yeah, Eric, how you been? Pretty good, so we're hoping that the weather this year starts warming up real quick because I am done with this winter. I can't wait till the springtime when, water, when the water gets warm. When the water warms up so we can go swimming, no. And I can stop washing my car three times a fucking week. Exactly. So, once the roads get a little cleaned up, get that freaking sand and salt off the road, we'll be able to get the charger back up on the road. As you guys know, if you have been following the channel, I will be selling my Charger SRT8 this spring. And the reason for that is I will be stepping into some type of new vehicle that I will definitely not be discussing with you guys today in this video. I apologize. Um, I have a pretty good idea of, as of to what I will be getting. Um, there still could be a chance I can hop into something else. So if you guys have any recommendations for a real semi-realistic car that you would like to see on this channel, please feel free to drop that in the comment section below. We'll eat it for breakfast. Lunch. And yeah. dinner and that 3 a.m. munchie snack. So anyway, once the salt sand gets off the road, we will have some nice reunitings with the Charger. And then we also may have not only one, but two, but two new cars for this channel. So we can't be more excited to get on with this, get this spring here, and get back to car season. So 2018 Mustang GT. I'm sure by this time now you guys have at least seen the refreshed Mustang GT? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, so, you know. well, There's so many mixed feelings. It's still up in the air, and I think it's still a little too new up in the air. And by that I mean, once I first saw it, and Kevin first saw it, we literally texted each other it. in like two seconds. I absolutely hated it. We all, all hated it. Was it. A lot of The worst design Ford could ever make. But, you know, Ford does say they know what the people want, and could it be three months down the road the people all want it? knows as we did see the refresh of the 2018 Mustang GT a lot of people were upset with the front bumper I really didn't like it whatsoever whatsoever the whole front fascia got kind of like fucked me all up back looks nice the taillights are a little bit different you do have that wing I mean I'm not a huge fan of the wing yes it does add some performance as far as the aerodynamics and downforce go but that's it's center. kind of rinky dink small I don't like how it's got like four different spots for it to bolt to the trunk and then the middle part where the mounts are, the middle part literally goes up through the spoiler. And I think that looks pretty cheesy. I mean, the back end doesn't look that bad, minus the spoiler. You got that new active valve quad tip exhaust, which I'm sure is gonna sound absolutely ridiculous. And then you have the slight, slightly different taillights. They look a little bit more leaner and aggressive looking. Car does look, if you look at the car from the side, it looks like going on a diet. And according to Ford, it did go on a little bit of a diet. Not too much, but it also ate a little bit in terms of power increase as far as horsepower and torque goes. Ford claims that it will be making more than the 2015, 2016, 2017 Mustang GTs. You can get the performance pack with the six piston Brembos on the front, or if you don't want the performance pack, you can definitely get the four piston that comes OE with any premium or base GT. And then you also got that new 12 inch LCD display up front, which does look pretty cool. It does look like it has more driver, what's the term I'm looking for? More driver focused center display as far as going into different pages and having it more customizable to what you want as far as the drive modes go. Now you could drive in sport and track mode, sport steering and track mode and you could save it so you could have different profiles so you could say i want sport and track for this road that i like i could have it track steering track engine map save that as a different one you could also have comfort and normal save that one for highway let's say if you want fuel economy 
So it does give the driver a little bit more customizable options for what he or her wants to do with their 2018 Mustang, which is pretty cool. But the front fascia, man. Back to the front, so. 22 millimeters. Th th that that part, though, I do, I do like. I do like that yeah. they sort of got a little slight more aggressiveness you had, like, to the front three end. three different angles that you could look at a 2015, 2016, or 2017 Mustang in the front. And those front five to six front angles in the front, it just looks like it's got like a five head almost. But everywhere else on the car is absolutely beautiful and you don't really notice it that much from the side. So, but front on, if you put a 2018 up to a 15 to 17, it is a slightly little bit more aggressiveness to the nose of the tip of the front end. And I do like the, how they dropped it ever so slightly, just like a GT350. Now, rumor has it that they did drop the hood a full whopping 22 millimeters. Why? Because when you're at a Cars and Coffee and you do a burnout, it's easier for the human in front of it to go up and over the car Instead than of under it. through the windshield or under it. Very so nice. they're looking out for the general population that's going to be watching all these cars do burnouts. All right, bitch, let's go. Currently stuck in traffic. I got a person making a left with about 30 cars coming at me. Well, and another one coming out of the same direction. Yeah, and just you had to let him go. Out. Oh my God, there's a bus. Cool. It's not a bus. That's wow. a truck. Wow. That guy would have got that fully loaded off garbage the truck. Go. Thank you. And that, ladies and gentlemen, oh, is the sound of Sky Active. Sky Active 2.0. It's the sound of crushed up leaves mixed with petrol going right through your tailpipe, <laughs> making a beautiful scented exhaust that's not harmful to the environment. That way we can live long. And who am I kidding? The fucking America's fucked. But stay tuned because we'll have a scented candle that smells exactly like that if any of you are interested. I had a dream <laughs> that we could potentially in the near future have a Staggered Horizons clothing line for him and her, which should be pretty awesome. I have a whole bunch of ideas in my head. We may have some nice new Staggered Horizons hoodies, t-shirts, sweatshirts, jackets, zip-ups for you guys later down the road. As far as Nick goes with the 2010 Subaru STI that we put the TDO 5H in, he, I haven't seen him in a while. Um, last time I talked to him, he's going to order a new fuel pump, some 1,000cc injectors. So he's going to stick with the 20? Yeah, because uh, they're not going to take that fucking back. Like, yeah, that's really what I said. Somebody just commented back. on that video and asked, hey, could I buy the 20G turbo? Or, and I was like, oh shit, this was literally like yesterday the day before. So yeah, I'll probably like, take it off. So. Depending on how much you can get for it, yeah. And then go back to 16 maybe. Yeah. So it'll probably be a little while until Nick gets that back up and running smoothly. I am trying to talk him into getting forged rods and pistons because that's absolutely necessary if you want to go above the limit. Supers are very sensitive to their tunings and their engines aren't really the best. All right, so anyway, as you can see, we're super excited for all the stuff that we have in store. We will definitely keep you guys updated on our car buying journey. And if you guys have any suggestions, is it going to be American? Is it going to be European? Or is it going to be JDM Classics? Who knows? We'll have to see what happens. But we're super excited. If you guys have any suggestions or any cool things that you would like to see on this channel, please don't hesitate. Drop that in the comment section below. One thing I did forget to mention to you guys is that we will be having a 1,000 subscriber giveaway where we will be giving away a gift card, a Staggered Horizons t-shirt, and a whole bunch of Staggered Horizons vinyl stickers. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. So thank you guys again for tuning in. If you're stopping in for the first time, please hit that subscribe button and we will see you next time. Thanks guys, take care. So thank you guys again for watching. Please hit that subscribe button if you're tuning in for the first time. And we'll see you guys next time. Don't forget about our thousand dollar giveaway. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, dude. The fuck? We're trying to get new cars. We can't give a thousand dollars away right now. I didn't now. mean